I said no more goody two shoes, no more Mr. Nice Guy, fuck you too, it's likewise, this is what they left me in when they ain't choose the right side, ran inside my sight lines, feeling this in my mind, venomous synonyms, nigga I become a python, cause y'all really push me to the edge, ain't no more rebuilding once it's fire on the bridge, keep an eye out when trying to feed a dog who ain't been fed, cause after you feed them they might use the strength to bite your hand, it's crazy I know, thinking how could they do it, play with negatives, wait too long and they show me proving that so no more goody two shoes no more mr nice guy. oh man when i get through with you there's nobody else you will want to go to i put all men to shame remember babe this is all a nasty so i guess since you're she's since she's reading it i guess this is what we're gonna kind of pseudo start with oh have we started recording but no yeah we're, we're, we've been recording oh, okay. so now okay. you, you're uh, you you can pull the mic closer to you i would love if you did that just a little bit just a little bit. Yes. That's why we got the expensive mic stands and whatnot now with the expensive mics. You know what I'm saying? See, the Mr. Know-It-All podcast and everything that's coming out of the hive is going to be top-notch material. And I need you to respect it. I like your little puff ball. I rock rough and stuff with my Afro puff. Rage. Rock on with your band saying. So, 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 so go ahead. So, <laughs> I miss you, Kelly. Wow. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. Um, I guess I'm thankful to still be on this show. Oh, oh you <laughs> guess so? That's fucking crazy. That's wow. With my little puff ball. Let's, uh, listen, it's nice little, like, like the whole messy bun thing is gangster. I like that. Yeah, looks you like you've been looks like you've been pulled it lately. St- it has not. Oh, all right, my bad, my it bad. Has not. You know what happened? Uh-huh. Well, it's straightened. Uh huh. But uh, right. you know, it's not trained yet. Mm. So Ooh. it has to get trained. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. You got chill. I'm not mature enough for the shit that you be talking. My about. hair has to be. I right, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Let's just pull a plug <laughs> and forget that <laughs> part of the conversation. What the fuck is going on, man? What is happening? It is episode 168 of the Mr. Know It All podcast. Oh, I've been eating God. leftovers for the past. What is it? Four. We we recording this on Monday, so it's four or five days now. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was done with leftovers. I think two I'm. Days I ago. think I was gonna have my last batch of leftovers tonight. Is that too much? That's four days. Yeah. I think four days is a reasonable amount. Is of the time. four fourth day? Is that doing? That's too the much? last day. I made a TikTok long a while that was, ago. What Thanksgiving was Thursday? Yes. So Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday. Today right. should be the last day of eating any. Last leftovers. the last day of leftovers. It, well, it depends on what was made. Everything was made. Everything was made. You know what I'm saying? The turkey. I didn't have so, any stuffing this year. I'm all right, don't very, even talk. So you, but you didn't have Thanksgiving then. If you don't have stuffing, that's there's no reason. I was over at my sister's house. They they made stuffing, but I didn't get any. Did you get Mac? Okay. All right. I'm I'm sorry for asking you bastardizing questions. That's, I apologize. That, that's yeah. That's bad. I, I, I it's blasphemous. I it's apologize. Blasphemous. I apologize for that. Somebody on um, TikTok. Wait. Somebody on TikTok mm-hmm. was naming the sides. As um, as astrology signs, yeah, and they said Leo is mac and cheese because they like to be the center of attention. So just let them be the mac and cheese. Aries is definitely mac and cheese. I don't <laughs> nah, even care what nigga. y'all said. What, what, what was Aries? We wasn't. Know. Oh, we wasn't no wait, corny no, shit. Wait. First of all, I don't know because I was only checking for Leo. <laughs> that's see, that's the most Leo shit you've ever said on this podcast. That's the problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the problem. We are the sun. Yeah, we uh we actually got a little segment talking about narcissism today as well. You okay, know what I'm saying? So well, you just right up your alley. Not really. Mm, it is. Anyway. But Ow. Yeah, no. We are here. This is episode 168 of the Mr. Know It All podcast. Um We're gonna skip the next number and just go to one seventy like they do in hotels. They don't have like a thirteenth floor. Oh we but you said that we was gonna come back to one sixty nine. I don't remember. You definitely I did. Kelly, oh, oh, really? Oh, need to br- bring people behind the curtain before we even get started? Kelly had an entire setup, a whole situation that she wanted to do based upon episode 169. I did. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember none of that, huh? Nope. I, no, yeah. I don't, no. Look, honestly, uh-huh. I really don't. You don't remember that? <laughs> you t- I got the text message. You need me to read text messages? 
based upon the not, freaky, not nasty shit the you wanted to talk about on episode 169? Not on the mic. With your grown, nasty ass. Hey, <laughs> when you're 47, you could be nasty. Yo, I'll, listen, I'm I ain't got nothing to do with that. Man. So it's episode 168 of the Mr. Know-It-All podcast, and as always, right about now is where I'm going to play a little song, and I actually had something in mind. (laughs) Check this out. We be right back. Five, four, three, two, one. Yizzo. We're back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back Mm -hmm. to episode 168 of the Mr. Know-It-All podcast, and as always, as always. Over the past four years. Who are you? I am your host, Mr. Know-It-All. Really? Your favorite podcaster's favorite podcaster. Even if he didn't know that he podcasted. And podcasting and multimedia's lovable smartass. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and I can lip sync this part now. To my right <laughs> <laughs> is the hostess with the mostest. Ow. The Qster. Q Diamond Phillips, the diva herself, Kelly Q. Hola, como esta? ¿Qué pasa? She got the hive colors on and everything. You know what I mean? Looking, yeah, looking very, very buzzy. I look like a goddamn walking Nike ad. Get with us on IG at Mr. <laughs> underscore know it all underscore odd. I said odd. I said odd. Pod. The Facebook fan page, Mr. Know It All Podcast fan page. Mr. Know It All Podcast on TikTok. And please, as you always, know, send God. all of your fuckery, duckery, and schmuckery over to the Gmail account at Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. It's Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. Well, 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 so we've reformatted a little bit in order to crunch time because I don't like empty spaces. Actually, I love empty spaces, but that's an entirely different podcast. Um, <laughs> empty, moist spaces. Is my shit right, Kelly? You know what I'm saying? Oh, all right. I have no uh, idea no. what you're talking about. Is it true? Like women hate the word moist. Yeah, I, mean, I think we talked about I, that before. I think a lot. I don't think it's just a women thing, though. I, no, I don't have a problem people. with the word moist. Yeah. <laughs> moist, slippery. I know my best friend. She can't. Moist, slippery. Hey, look, wet, I can't even you know type it in a text. Slimy, greasy. I cannot even type it uh-huh. in a text. To you can't her. type the word moist. No. Come on, man. She grow up. Because we all hear it. Just hear it moist. It, it's, Let me think of panty liners. Ew, no. <laughs> oh, That's God. what it is. Ew. <laughs> now, exactly a moist panty liner. I used to know a dude that couldn't say the word panties. Oh, jeez. You say panties to him. And it's a, he, I mean, he a whole squirm. We was in college. He, was, he went to Edinburgh. You say panties to this nigga. And I, I don't think you know him. Oh, damn. Because anybody that you can't say panties to definitely ain't getting no panties. You know what I'm saying? He was just so like, 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 it was just he so weird for jittery. Him. He was like, yeah, panties. Like, <laughs> oh, God, he was like one of the little kids. Yeah, exactly. He was like a 12 year old. Oh, you say yeah, panties. Exactly. But uh-huh. so what we're going to do is we're doing something different. You we're know what I'm saying? We reformat it because we don't want the show to be super duper duper long. long. Pause. Right. We want. <laughs> <laughs> we want the I show to be concise. We want it to hit this. hard, and we want it to be the best listening experience you've ever had in your life, or whatnot. So, you've ever had? Guess what's happening? Life. Right now, I am merging the two. I am merging condiments and current events. Well, they should be merged. Yeah, they should be. Why didn't you tell me that before? Why? I you wasn't know what I'm saying? About exactly. That. So. We Let's just get always ready. went into yeah because we all we are catching up with current events. Why don't you fix it? Go ahead, reach down. Go ahead, reach down and grab it. I can't <laughs> reach it. How did that happen? What did you do? Kick? I, what did you do? Kick it? My feet haven't moved. All right. Oh, I love. I, have I to love. Stay in I a love space. the swivel mics because it gets right back to it and whatnot. This I is. I have to stay in a is, safe space. Yeah. Pause. So <laughs> that's what your ass gets. He just dropped the phone for those listening on oh Spotify for Hold being up. a smart ass. Hold Can up. you reach it? No, I can't. Here. No, I'm fat. All right, so look. <laughs> I've reached it and I've gotten it. <laughs> Damn it. These shows, are, we're we going to get a whiteboard because I got to start. You know what I mean? Right there. Shut up. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> so let's talk. I Let's get this. ready I for, the, last week. for our favorite condiments and 
That is the catch up slash current events slash everything you need to know. When I'm gonna play the sound now, that would be it. Yo, stop snorting on my. <laughs> Don't snort after an important part of the podcast. What's wrong with you? Yo, what is wrong with you? Did you get high before you got here? Did you pop the edible in the car? You all right? No, you know I'm not allowed to take edibles. You can't be smoking that shit at lunchtime in the bathroom. I know you. Don't, you know what I mean. You ain't the biggest fan of your employment place, but you, ain't, you can't be in high, <laughs> high in the bathroom at work okay. and shit. Hi, hi, uh, hi, all right, all right. Hi. No. You don't even. I was about to say you don't even know who yeah. sang that song. Yeah, that was what's the name. Who? The Locks. All right, we gonna keep going. It's close, but it wasn't close enough. Or one, one, one of them. One of the locks. A yeah. lock. It was one lock. Jada Kiss. Yo, see, this is the type of shit I'm talking about. This is the shit I be meaning. This is the problem with you and your music knowledge. We're going to keep you away from the shit you need to be kept away from. All right? Was so, I right? No, you wasn't. Oh. <laughs> but I was okay because I'm a little embarrassed. And I don't want to keep, see, that's what I'm saying. You keep talking and I get more and more embarrassed. All right? Shout out once again. Oh, man. I didn't even get to say this even last week. And I could have said it last week, too. And we had beat the defending Super Bowl champions. We had got revenge. Bird Gang. Bird Gang. Beat them. Bird and then gang. last night. Bird Gang. In the most thrilling of victories. First of all, I don't know how thrilling it was. No, that I know thrilling. that was a damn heart attack waiting to happen. So one of the girls. Again. One of the girls in the bar started crying. I had, to, I had to calm her down and rub her back a little bit. No, I didn't. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like the time where, the, where Biggie came over. You know, Notorious B.I.G. came over and rubbed your back. Not that time. Not that, like, back rub. This was just like I was helping her out. You know, when you got haters in this world. Oh, oh, oh I'm a hater? You got haters in Baby. this world. So, I'm a hater. So, she was very, 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 like, erratic. Like, she was, and she, I realized that she wasn't. <laughs> she, like, she was she about was, to have a heart attack. She was, like, game. really, really, like, couldn't breathe. And she couldn't believe what we won. And I guess the That's the like, over bubbling of emotions, uh-huh. it's like a tea kettle. Like she, all of a sudden, she start crying. Like she was like crying, <laughs> and I'm like, yo, you don't cry. Like this is one game. It's not the playoffs. It ain't the Super Bowl. It ain't nothing. It's just one game. And I understand that you love the team, but God damn. The hell damn, yeah, she needed to calm down. But, but it was ten, a good look. But we ten and one. We all ten and one. We ten and one. Bird. Gang, and I shall fly, continuously say it. Eagles fly. This is the gauntlet. We in the middle of the gauntlet. Pause. And this is what's supposed to be happening. Beating the teams that we need to beat. Yeah. Oh, this always happens during this time and whatnot. Yeah. yeah, you know. I hope that's somebody fixing the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I thought about something because, you know, we always do like this, fly, eagles, fly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why Patty LaBelle been doing it like that for years. You know, when she sings. Cause she a big Eagles fan. No, Patty, maybe she always represents. No, Patty trying to shake her arms always sleep. She's trying to get the get the Lies. blood. Trying to get the blood rushing Lies. to her fingertips. Lies. Yo, Patty LaBelle. <laughs> Patty she LaBelle. T- look, she was on uh, uh, what's the, it, uh, a Tamron show. Right, right. And somebody was saying something about a Swifty. She's like, Yeah, Taylor, just don't, don't. Don't worry about the Eagles. We got this. The See, Eagles but is Patty good. has always been. She's just been trying to come she, for people forever. Pause. I mean, she was. It was a sweet thing. She was like, "Yo, that was crazy." Worry about Wait. the Eagles. She's like, "Don't worry about it. We got it." And then she went like this on Tamara's show. So that's what made me associate it. No, she been flying Eagles flying for years. No, nah, she been trying to shake. She trying to shake her arms away. Hey, no, listen. she not. She's very healthy. Speaking of people shaking stuff, so <laughs> I haven't heard too much about this, mm-hmm. but if my rich son was this dis- disrespectful. And smaller oh, than me, I, I have to, it. I have to fuck him up. The funny thing is, I actually watched that earlier today. So, what a part of it did there, you? Okay, so I know there's what, a part that Ti talks. And okay, he's like, stop coming in my inbox, mm-hmm. telling me what I should tell my son. So this is what I got and whatnot. This is what I'm seeing here. All right, an altercation between King Harris. And his parents, T.I. and Tiny, was caught on video. Mm -hmm. On Sunday afternoon, the family were on site at Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium for for the football game between the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints. Mm -hmm. Both King and Tiny had shared posts 
to their Instagram stories for the field documenting their experiences because Tip performed um, before things took an unexpected turn. Um, so, all right, during an Instagram Live, uh, King is heard repeatedly saying, you capping, nigga. I know you, though. So, apparently, is he talking about his dad? Mm-hmm. First and foremost. He's talking to his dad. Oh, boy. All right, so let me turn this up here because I really, really want it. Uh, let, me, let me play this real quick. What the fuck is he talking about? You can't really hear. So, 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 so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So this altercation was between Tip and King. Is that what we're talking about? This, it starts between King and his mama. Okay. Tip gets involved. Later on, if I could find a video, I'd play it. Mm -hmm, But mm -hmm. T.I. goes on his live telling people, stop telling me what to tell my son like I haven't been talking to him. I have already told him that if he keeps acting the way he's acting, he's going to jail. This is where he's going. He's like, I see it. He's like, because I was that kid. He's like, but he don't want to listen. Right. So I got to let him (sighs) fall on his own sword, basically. This is fucking stupid. Yeah. This is stupid. I'm going to tell you the, one, the really, he's, really the reason why it's stupid is because. He's trying to say, King. Right. Is trying to say he only lived with them, with T.I. and Tiny, mm-hmm. when the cameras was on. He lived with his grandma the other the other time. T.I.'s mom or, or Tiny's mom? Either one. I Either, thought T.I. mom lived with all, them. No, that was his sister. Oh, his that sister. His okay, sister okay. Passed. Oh, she did. She did pass. Uh-huh. Yeah, she did. His yeah, that right, rest the peace to her. However, mm-hmm. even if you did live with his mama, right, or her mama, you were still well taken care of wherever you were. You right. did not grow up mm-hmm. like Tip grew up. Right, 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 right. You didn't grow up around trap houses and knowing all what that what your father came from. Yeah. And there's one video you can hear Tip ask him, you ever woke up with a roach on your head <laughs> crawling in your ear? Yeah, what the fuck? Like, he thing? went. Right, like, right. Like, you don't know what struggle is. Right, right. You trying to say just because you didn't live with in, in our house all the time mm-hmm. that you struggle. There's no way you have, you've never right. in your life have struggled. So who is he? So so he's beefing with Tip about the fact that, like like I don't understand. I I to me personally, maybe I, what am I missing? Am I missing the fact that you think that it has to do with the fact that he's jealous of his dad, or or there's something else there? You know what I I don't know. I know little Aries can sing her face off. Right. I know that one of his sons, Majesty, is, J- Your Majesty. Your Majesty is actually Jermaine Jackson's son name. No, no, the nigga's name is, or is it Your Majesty or is it Sire? He got one name, Your Majesty, if I'm not mistaken. No. He do got one name. It's something like that. It's one name, Sire, one name, King. King. Messiah. Messiah. I'm sorry. I so apologize. Messiah yeah, yeah, yeah. is the one I think has been on Broadway. He was in SpongeBob the Musical. Okay. Damani is actually Damani, the one that can rap, rap. Ra- yeah. Yeah, he, he's he, the one that can rap. And he can play yeah. guitar. Like, he's, okay. He's skilled. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if, honestly, King, the one that don't and, look and like King, them. King's la- King's name is Clifford. Oh, so he's Clifford. So he is him. Harris Jr. It's him. It's him. Yeah, and he's the that. oldest. No, no, he's not no, the oldest. Uh-uh. He's like the third. Messiah is the Messiah, oldest. Messiah is the old right. That's yeah, Messiah's Messiah the is the mm-hmm. Messiah, right. Damani, Deja, 
Um, what's, and the, what's, then what's the little one name? Eris. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, and no, no. The, the, know... the little boy. What little boy? He had a little boy. The he little, knows. the youngest damn boy. Yes, he do. He got a young boy. That's the one named Your Majesty. The oh my God, they have three kids together. Right. Okay. He also has the three kids he got together are King, right? Philip and Eris. Who the hell's what's Philip's name? Who the fuck is Philip? I don't know. He, That's, no, Philip is the other one. I know which one he is. I can't oh think of gosh. his name. Uh, Ti is also dead. The sons been Saya and Damani uh-huh. with ex Lashawn. Um, daughter Deja with ex Nico, and he shares a daughter Zanik, uh, with you know Zanik is his okay. Step, he's stepdad. So bottom line in this situation is the fact that King is being a little prick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a little fucking prick. Yeah, and he needs to learn better. I don't really know what else to say. Like you come from privilege, you know what I'm saying? You are a goof troop and. Unfortunately, the life that you're leading or trying to lead, there's no reason for you to go down that path because at the end of the day, at it's all. not going to lead you but nowhere. You're going nowhere fast. He's he telling them you're going to jail. I just don't understand. Well, maybe you want to go to jail. Let me go to jail. Fuck it. I don't know what to tell you. But that's man, what so T.I. Sick. said. Yeah, let the nigga go. T.I. said, but don't, you're, not, you're not coming I'm, to my fucking shows doing that. Keep your yellow ass in the house. Period. Stay in the house with the fuckery. You ain't got, there's nothing that you need to say to me. At the end of the day, I think that parents, especially black parents, we need to start drawing a line in the sand. If we ain't fucking these kids up no more, if we're not fucking them up no more, and we're trying to help them be better people, if they start to be assholes, and you got to show them what a real asshole is. Pause. But that's what I'm saying, like real rap. It, it's so stupid. Like at the end of the day, if your kid don't know how to fucking act, and they need, they need some act right. Is that Give them some one, act right. I can't think. Well, they, his That's, name is Philip, but Ma- his your majesty. It's not. Nigga, I, I don't his even name, understand. Why do you keep arguing with me when I keep telling you? It's not. All right, whatever. Whatever you say. Mm-hmm. I want you to look it up. Why don't you just type it in there and look it up and find out? All right. Um, while you're looking that up, mm-hmm. Tiffany Haddish, I, yeah. I think that she's finally... You know, I've been saying lately that people have been missing their Illuminati payments. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Puff is on that shit. Tiffany Haddish has, I think she's missed her Illuminati payment too. And um, I think people are just fucking with her. I think it's getting to her. It's really, really getting to her though. Right. Like I think it's getting to her beyond belief. I think she's really, really having an internal problem. Because I mean, to me, well, it doesn't make any sense why, why she she's should tripping. Have any- yeah, like what the fuck is going on? Or why are you having these type of meltdowns? What, was she having a meltdown or is she just drunk at the... No, no, what about... Driving? No, you didn't see the two videos before then when she was up there screaming at the camera, I'm tired of doing for pe- pe- shit for people that people don't have no appreciation for. You ain't see that? Uh-uh. Yes, she's been in her bag, like talking, telling people like, yo. Major. Oh, that's what it was. Why did I think Majesty? Close. Your Majesty is Jermaine Jackson's son. No, I, well, I used to coach. You. I used to coach a young boy named Majesty. Mm-hmm. Major. But Major, don't even tell. Wait, first and foremost, you didn't know. You was calling him Philip. Major Philip. <laughs> it, <laughs> Philip it. Harris. It's his full name. What is it, Major? Is King he... is not his name. Oh, King who is, who is King? King is the one that's tripping. All Major right. is the one the little that's one. always been chill. Yeah, right. the little one. All right. He the one. Can he dance or something? I don't know. They, I, a bunch of kids are talented, mm-hmm. except King. He's just, he's Obviously. Just being, I, he's just being a prick. And I personally think that might lean into mm-hmm. what the issue is. So in order for him to be seen and get on, because... He may not have any talent. Oh, he, he got the act. clout. He want the. That's what it is. It's a clout chasey thing. That's what, you know what. One thing that I realized is that that's important to kids. Mm-hmm. Big time. It's important to fucking adults. But think about if you was the kid in the family of a multitude of children, and, and everybody got everybody talent. could do some shit. And then you, but I mean, hell, Z- Zanique was in a group. She had her group. But you also have to look at the dedication that it takes to do something. Right. 
And you know each what I'm saying? one of them, right? To down Becky. to Eris, like I've, they've shown Eris in her voice training classes. That's what I'm saying. That little girl got a voice. But see, some people are just—he's that fucking middle child. That middle child, and be, he's be, be snapping. He, and he's definitely like what's his birthday? The middle middle. What's his birthday? We find oh, out. I'm gonna talk about Tiffany Haddish for a second though. Why uh-huh. you look for his birthday? But I mean, perfectly uh, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, Tiffany Haddish is really, really. She's flying off the deep end, and I think that they got to. She got to be careful. He's a Virgo. That's His why. birthday is a, a month to That's the day. That's why. August twenty fifth, nineteen. That's why. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's he's a fucking jackass. Yeah, that's what it is. But like, but you got a, a Virgo. Shit looks familiar. What like his dad? No, like that that anger. Uh, Shit looks familiar. Mm. But I don't know, man. Like I said, if we ain't fucking these kids up or whatnot, sometimes we gotta we gotta teach them some harsh lessons. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um and also, man, I don't we've been like going jumping back and forth, but um Um Yeah, this whole DUI thing, because they said she was poking fun at her DUI during her comedy set. But the problem with it is is that I don't just don't think I don't think Tiffany Hatch is in a good place. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that because she was saying how people were asking her to do shit for free and, you know what I mean, because it's her, because she's such a nice person, da-da-da-da, all that, all that little, no, I ain't going to do that. No, I am going to do that. All that little Sambo type shit that was going on with her dancing and she ratty and all that extra shit, that right. became such a thing that white people got comfortable with it. And we knows what we know what happened when white people start getting comfortable with our shit. You know what happens. You become, you listen, you can rock with it and you can be comfortable with it. But the problem is anybody that's comfortable with you is going to start asking you to do shit. And if you don't want to do it, guess what the fuck? And then it becomes an issue. It becomes a fucking issue. It becomes a big time issue. So prayers up to her, man. I hope everything works out for her. You stay away from that bottle. She's passed out in the middle of the street, too, <laughs> in the car. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I was like, she need a driver. At this point, if you... You think that she don't have a driver? That's Obviously, a lot of time. she don't. She was she didn't, got two DUIs. She is late on her Illuminati payment. Once she paid up, she'd be good. Why did I show you that? Dude, like, like Aerie Spears, that nigga got kicked out. You know, he, Listen, he's been funnier than ever since then, though. Really? Yeah, maybe she mm. just maybe she just needed to leave. You know what I'm saying? Been one of my favorites. Leave it, leave it be. Um, so details have come out of why Tiana Taylor and Amon Shumpert got divorced. And I hate details about people's marriages, but it would only be what right. we're not going to do is talk mm-hmm. about it. Because what nope, she says, what I am going to do is talk about it. And okay. the reason why I'm going to talk about it mm-hmm. is because of the simple fact that the reason why they said I would have left it alone. I would have not mentioned it if Tiana Taylor. She, well, first of all, did not say that she was being emotionally she, abused. Well, here's the thing: she did not leak this information. I don't give a fuck. She wanted her stuff. She is. I don't one care. thing she says on there is that y'all know I have protected my family. And everything, you know, as much as trying to keep my private life, Mm -hmm. my private life. Right. She's like, so I feel, you know, some sort of way that someone would release documents that don't pertain to them. Shit gonna happen. So she said, if y'all love y'all little play nieces like y'all do, then respect our privacy while we go through this nah, as right. a family. But that was the initial. So statement. I'm going to respect their privacy. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm you not going to talk about I'm it. I'm not. All right, cool. But what I got to say is that Tiana Taylor, and I don't know Tiana Taylor personally, mm-hmm. and I'm never going to talk about anybody personally and whatnot. But what I do know is that sometimes, just sometimes, the energy you put out there is the energy somebody's going to expect from you. I'm never, ever going to say it's a thing. So I read deep into whatever it was that was said. Mm-hmm. And what I came up with is that she's saying that Amon was jealous. So she called him a jealous narcissist. Mm-hmm. All well, right? I heard something about the narcissist. Right. So then it became a situation where she said that he became emotionally abusive. I always have a problem with that because to me, it's always going to be hearsay. Mm-hmm. 
It's always going to be I said, she said, I feel, she feel, we feel, we think, this, this, that, and the third. It's always going to be one of them situations. The only reason why I wanted to bring it up is because I want everybody to understand that this is the reason why things should be left alone. If there's an unre- is it the irreconcilable difference for it? You ain't even got to tell nobody the reason why you want to get a divorce. Just say, listen, this ain't working out. We done. But when you start to stay, why would you even mention this thing to people? She had to mention it in the documents because why? these are things that are asked of what is going on in the divorce. You don't Those need a papers reason. papers don't have to be made public. Those papers weren't meant to be made public. Understandably. It's assholes out here to do stuff, stuff like that. Right. But when you do, as a couple, when you do things amicably, you don't have to tell people why you're doing it. It's not, there's nothing that's going on that makes that a but case. But that's the thing. She didn't tell anyone. She told her lawyer the stuff is in the paperwork because they have to discuss it. She laid on her Illuminati payment. That's Another the problem. One. Another one. She laid on an Illuminati payment. That's what I'm saying. I think it's bullshit. And honestly, I believe that if you don't want something to come out, being a celebrity, you ain't even got to write the shit down. The same way you told everybody to respect y'all decision and stay out of y'all business while y'all go through this tough time, don't tell, you ain't got to tell nobody that shit. You ain't got to tell him I want to I want a divorce because he's a fucking egotistical narcissist or a jealous narcissist. This is the type of shit I'm talking about. Don't say, don't throw rocks and then hide your hand. And then find, when somebody find out that you was throwing rocks, be upset. Like, I can't believe you noticed me throwing rocks and hiding my hand. It's bullshit. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just saying. And I apologize if anybody that, feels a way about that. But speaking of that, so we moving things around a little bit or whatnot. We are going to go straight. Oh, no, we didn't. No, 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 we not. Oh, no, 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 the fuck we not. We are not. I'm sorry because first and foremost, before we even mention this, Mm -hmm. I want to take time out to acknowledge our sponsors for the day. Can I? Can you, can, you, can you pick up some product and hold it up for the camera, please, Kelly? Uh, this right here, y'all, this is how Mood did, and Senses hair oil. Some of the best stuff on the market. And I'm not saying that because I'm the general manager of the brand. <laughs> I'm saying that because it is the best stuff on the market. Why is shout it out the to best my, stuff on the market? Shout out to my partner, Keith Burrow. So essentially, it has all, it's an all natural product. Mm-hmm. Jamaican black cast That's oil. Grape seed oil, avocado, all whole bunch of nutrients. It's good for your hair, for your skin, for your nails, and it smells so good. I smells so good. Say it fact, smells so amazing. Matter of fact, I ain't, listen, I ain't telling you niggas nothing. You ain't got to see from me. I'm gonna take a little drop it for myself, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna rub and slab it in the beard. It's good for your beard. We also make a beard serum and whatnot. Mood and senses it does what it does. What else we got over there? What else we got over there? Hand me some of that good old, good old shea butter. This says liquid sun. Yes, it's liquid sun. Not what I thought. I it know. Said for a Kelly while. thought it was liquid <laughs> sin. No, it's liquid <laughs> sun. All right, liquid sun. This right here. Good brother. What's the? Uh, would you give him just a small tidbit of what the base is? And our good old fashioned shea butter. Shea butter. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Shea butter, but it's whipped and it's scented and it's all natural and it is definitely, definitely good for your skin. And my hand's too small for that. We got a um, candle that we just now, we actually sold out of these for a while, but we're just now re revealing it, right? Re up. The spot, the re up on re-up. it, the spy escape. Uh, oh my gosh. Listen, please, when you get an opportunity, go to moodandsenses.com. Please order everything you need to order. Um, And you know what? If you're a listener of this podcast, in a promo code know-it-all, get 10% off. Just from me to you. From me to you. From me to you. 10% off. Moodandsenses.com. Enter the promo code, know it all. Know it all. 
Thank you, Mood and Senses, for being the undying sponsor of the Mr. Know-It-All podcast, the Know-It-All network, and all that we do. Oh, I found the video. Get shame out of the day. All right, cool, 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 cool. For T.I. Oh, Lord, here we go. You you diving back into that. Hit me, give me my comments, telling me what to tell King, okay? I know my son. I think I ain't spoke to my son. Mm-hmm. I think I ain't told my son, his mama, and his grandmama, his ass going to prison. If you got damn keep up, going to mm. prison. Ain't no way around it. Damn. Ain't nothing I'm going to be able to do about it. Can't nobody stop it but him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Well, oh, Tip. I not already had that conversation. Well, Tip. Well, kick. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Well, King. Yeah, you want to stop that? There we go. <laughs> it was we, a new video. We will accept the fate as it goes. But I, honestly, I believe him. I believe him. Listen, it is what it is, man. I'm sorry. I don't have words of wisdom. I don't really have words of wisdom for somebody who understands where they are and just continuously want to be a dick. They want to be a dick about everything they want to do because they want to exert some sort of independence. A hard head makes a soft ass. My grandmama used to tell me that. My mama used to tell me that. My aunties used to tell me that. And it is so, so Mm -hmm. true. But like he said, he's like, don't think I didn't, I haven't talked to him. Right, right, right. His mama. Yeah. His grandmama. Mm -hmm. And I didn't told him. Yeah. He going to prison. Listen, it might be necessary. Hey. First and foremost, why don't you get some practice work in? Send his ass to juvenile hall. What is he? You 19. said he's 19? Oh, no. He's going to prison, prison. prison. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm about to say. But the thing is. He's a little light in the ass, your, too. Your dad mm-hmm. has been to prison. Yeah. He's absolutely. He's trying to tell you how to stay out. He's trying to tell prison. you how to stay out. but Because you have, no, you have no reason Mm-mm. that you should go to prison. Absolutely not. He don't have no reason. You're living guess what? the lab of luxury. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Living the lab of luxury and you actually are rich. Beyond at that me. age, yep, at that age, but essentially you just continuously want to fuck around. Yeah. So fuck Let around and find, find out. out. Fuck around and, and find, find out. out. You know who said that who? on one of her posts? Who? Kylie Kelsey. Oh yeah, Kylie Kelsey That's, fight. Yo. She's and like she, I'm almost six feet tall. Like Yeah, you don't She's like this. Around. That's mine. Dog. I was like, yes. Yeah, yeah. You cause they, they love that big barely ass Jason Kelsey. I'm trying to tell you. These little, these Philly women, these, these, listen, they ain't no. And she's from, she's not from Philly. Yeah, she's but from she's like, like Doyle Stone or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She'll fuck somebody but up. But she's Philly enough. Yeah, she'll fuck she's somebody Philly up. She's Philly enough. Yeah, she done been, she been downtown enough. You know what I'm saying? She, mm-hmm. She'll fuck somebody up quickly. You know what I'm saying? That's a big chick. She'll, she'll yeah. kick the shit out of you. She probably know judo or something. She'll, she'll fuck All day. She'll fuck somebody up. Um, let's go into movies. Mm-hmm. Let's go into movies. So, what we're going to do is. We're going to do this. This is what we're going to do from now on. We're going to talk about one show, mm-hmm. one movie, and one song new that we've heard this week. Give it a short review, and we get the fuck out of here and get to a topic. You ready? Mm-hmm. Shoot! I got home from work on Wednesday. Yeah. It was a half day. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what I'm going to watch? Mm-hmm. I'm going to watch Good Burger 2. My expectations were not high. Good Burger 1 was ass, but go ahead. But, I mean, it was Good Burger, you know. Yeah. For the Home time, of the Good Burger, for, can it take your order? For, yeah. for the time that it came out, right. it matched the age group. Okay, mm-hmm. it was cool. Yeah, you good was Burger like, two. you was 30 when it came out? Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same age as just about. As who? Of Kenan and Kel. Is They're Ken- like maybe two years younger than me. Okay, all right. At, at most. No, nah, you might be right. No, nah, you're right. Um, that might be right. I am right. Uh, listen, listen. I'm um, but I watched Good Burger 2. Uh-huh. And Good Burger 2 was unnecessary. Wasn't it the same it was, story? No. Uh, no, it wasn't the same wasn't story. Wasn't it? It was making bigger burgers, right? No. It wasn't? It wasn't no. like a super duper good burger? No. Oh, uh, okay. So, no, what happened was somebody was trying to get revenge on Good Burger. So the guy from the first movie, mm-hmm. his sister was trying to get revenge on uh, Kel. Did you just give away the fucking ending? 
I didn't give away the ending. I gave away the. You gave away a big ass plot point plot. that people that want to see the it movie. Was, Spoiler still, alert! I apologize if you was, were a, a good burger two fan. It was a horrible movie. Yeah, of course it was. It was a horrible movie. So I saw Fat Five Freddy. When? Oh, he they have a movie about Fat Five Freddy? No. What was what? it? What was it called? About the animation thing? Oh, oh, the... oh! Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my God! I told you it was horrible. Dude, I didn't even finish. That. I fell asleep and went upstairs. I told you it was this horrible. Dumbass movie. I told you it was horrible. I, I just like honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't bear it. It, it, it I couldn't bear it. it they was were on trying Peacock to say that. It um, they were trying to say that uh, Chuck E. Cheese were taking their animatronics out because of. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard that dumbass shit. But I shit. think they're just taking their animatronics uh, out. Okay. I don't uh, think yeah. it has anything to do with Yeah, because they, they have an animatronic section, but they have a real mouse running around. And a real mouse looks like looks like the futuristic version of the old one that's in animatronics. I'm like, why the fuck do they got this old head? Chuck E. Cheese look old as shit. He looked like, they looked like they was on Five Nights like at Freddy. like the Chuck E. Cheese we yeah. saw when we were kids. Yeah, that's true. But the, the new one running around, he all cool and shit. You know oh, what I'm really? saying? Yeah, they got like a backwards hat and shit. Like, Ch- look, I he's ha- skinny I had, in the motherfucker. Too. I haven't ass. been to Chuck E. Cheese. I get I get scary when I see skinny mice. This is a skinny ass mouse. This is skinny mouse mice mean right? It means all different types of diseases going around the motherfucker. It, a skinny mouse will tell you that there's so many mice that he's not the one to eat. that that's eating. So it's it's he's, at least twelve other late. fat niggas running around your fucking crib. <laughs> Eating everything up, and he's the one that got left oh. out to go get the food. Oh god! The punk ass skinny mouse. Who gets a skinny mouse? I can't. I can't. Okay. Yo, Chuck E. Cheese being skinny fucked me up. I'm like, damn, because you know this mice be fat. It's be a fat ass mouse running around and whatnot. Even the, the sk- animatronic. The skinny yep. was big, but the skinny mouse is scary. That's he might be disease ridden. When and they all sing, that. that's how you hear. That, and that was that it. was like Five Nights at Freddy's, like 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 when they was fucking it was, it was flat. Scary. Yeah, that shit was weird, man. Yeah. I was like, this is a dumb ass fucking movie. Like now, you, I still need you to finish it though. Yeah, because I need you to see the ending. All right, I gotta see. I gotta finish watching. Because I was just like, oh, my son was uh, trying cool. to explain to me how thorough it was that I had to be uh, of the age and be around when the video well, game and what, shit was out. Remember, that's what I was saying. Um, one of one of the guys I follow on TikTok, Straw Hat Goofy, was saying that people were telling him Why is this nigga named Straw Hat Goofy? I don't know. Uh. But that's his name. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, right, but right. he was saying people kept saying, you know, you really need to be a fan of the video game, this, that, and the third to understand, you know, how good the movie was. He is like, if the movie is good, the movie is good. He's like, and the movie is not good. So <laughs> <laughs> It's like the first Mario Brothers. That shit was the Asses. That was like top flight ass. That was like one of them things where you like, God damn, this is a bad, well, it's a bad movie? fucking movie. It like, was a. Ha- why did you make this they movie at had, all? They had John Leguizamo and the bull from Who Framed Roger Rabbit as brothers. Like as brothers. Like, come on, man. We are gonna pose believe that John Leguizamo was an Italian plumber. The, they done put John Leguizamo in a bunch of shit. Yeah, he works in the bull from Transformers. They done made to like three different races. <laughs> like, like uh, they stop. You know what I mean? He's not racially ambiguous. Paris. His name, his last name is Leguizamo, but that's right. a whole different title. Yeah, but you still don't have Paramount Plus. Do you? I don't have Paramount Plus. Don't ask about that Transformer shit. I'll watch it when I watch it. I'm, I'm waiting. Um, TV show you saw? I just uh, binge watched as a short series mm-hmm. on Netflix called The Fall of the House of Usher, which oh. is based on a Edgar Allan Poe uh, short story. Okay. So... It was really good. It mm-hmm. was really good. And for anybody who is familiar with not only Poe's poems, but his short stories, mm-hmm. like when you're watching it, you see little stuff. Because he was the one that wrote The Raven. and has Nevermore. Nevermore. Mm-hmm. And talking about Lenore. So there's a character in the story, Lenore. At okay. the end, somebody's getting text messages that say, Nevermore, Nevermore. Right. So there's all little things from his short stories. The person that directed it mm-hmm. put little things from his other short stories and poems into this whole um, story. But right. basically is about the rise and fall of a family that based their life on money and greed. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
So I saw a movie, and the worst thing in the world and is that Reacher I, is coming back going soon. That's, Just that's, that's your to man's know that. enough. So I watched like half of an episode. Oh, I watched the first episode of because I, I did watch a little Netflix. Just when I got it by time, I watched the real, uh, 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 um, what the fuck is the name of it? You know what I'm talking the about. Real Husbands of Hollywood? No, no, no. The actual fucking, the actual show for that uh, Squid Game. Oh, oh, the game yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I watched, I watched the first episode. You watched episode. the real game game? Yeah, yeah, the uh-huh. real one. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, Did it was. Did inter- somebody get kicked off for answering the phone? I don't. I didn't see that. Part. I saw some kind of clip on. Was that the first TV. episode? I don't know. I just saw some kind of clip on TV or maybe on TikTok where. <laughs> so I don't know about that one. Mm-hmm. I do know. Let me see. I watched that, and then I watched a part of this uh, this black documentary. About what? Uh, let me see what it's called. I know it's something. That, I know it's around here somewhere. I'm trying to. Forgive me, y'all, because I'm trying to look the shit up as we speak because I can't remember the name of it. It's a black documentary, and it was talking about how just, just you know, given given the background of the way we were treated in this country, it was a it was a, a, an entire documentary on some sort of segregation, and I can't remember exactly what it was. But I watched it. I watched part of it, and then I realized it was too deep, and then I just said, fuck it. I'm turning it off. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much it with that. Then I saw the uh, preview for Madam Web, and I want to know who the fuck this bad guy Spider Man is. Did you see that shit? No. So I asked my son. He said he didn't know who he was, and I actually played a video game. I sp- I played Spider Man, the Spider Man Two with Miles Morales and Peter Parker, mm-hmm. and I felt so privileged. And I realized that I'm old as hell, and I can't play video games like I used to. My hands start hurting. So, pretty much Strong that. Island. Hmm. Strong Island. What is that? It's a documentary. No, I don't think that was the name of it. It was something that I, I, I can't remember. I can't remember exactly what the name of it was, but it's a Netflix mm-hmm. documentary. Um, a song. Did you hear any new songs? I started listening today. Mm-hmm. Right. I've really only heard about three songs. Right, right, right. Of Andre 3000's album. I listened to that shit. I, I can't get into it, bro. I can't. I just can't. He I mean, has a song to say, I really tried to write a Oh, you didn't see my TikTok? My TikTok? He said, the slang word pussy rolls off the tongue much better than the actual word vagina. (laughs) That's the name of the fucking song. Shout out to that and whatnot. But I need to listen to more songs and whatnot. I really do. I've been, you know what? I did listen to a song and I listened to it again. And we actually played it last last time we recorded. Mm -hmm. So, um... Yeah, that Secret Garden uh, remake was ass, and I didn't realize it was ass until I re-listened back to the pod. I said I was I was digging this shit. Then I listened to the original one, not the original one, but the last. I said, "Oh yeah, I fucked that up." I said, "Wow." I accept your apology. Yeah, I apologize. I accept You're right. your that apology. Was, that was yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. I, I fucked that up. Huh? It was about the murder of a, of a, no, of a filmmaker. No, uh, okay. it was something else. It wasn't Strong Island. It was, it was, it was. It could be on Prime. I don't know. It, it was one of them things. It was a black documentary, mm-hmm. just talking about you know what I mean us coming up in this country. It, it was a lot. It, it was, it was just too deep for me at the moment. Pause. Right. You know what I mean? All right. So let's go. We at the topic. Invisible history. Invisible history. Prime. That's prime. Yeah. Okay, got you. Sorry, sorry. Because that, that's on my li- that's on my list. Yeah, yeah. I, start, yeah. I started it too, and was just like that shit. I that I, was too deep. I can't be here right now. Yeah, I that was I too much. I can't be in this mind frame right now because if I do, I'm gonna go outside. Yeah, and like they should start the start watching. I'm like, this mm-hmm. is a lot. I'm not doing. I'm not like doing I have 45 shit. minutes left. That's how short uh, of the yeah, time I had yeah, with it. Yeah, I'm I'm not. I, I didn't want no parts of that. You yeah. know what I mean? So, sometimes people, you have to understand that that. As deep as shit can get, and it can get deep. Sometimes you got to walk away. Sometimes you got to chill. Protect yeah. your peace, people. What's the, what's the show? I wasn't had a slice of pie. I think, um, uh, what's her name? What's uh, that? What's, what's the girl? Lena. L- Lena. Lena. What, Lena Waif? Yeah. yeah. She had a show on um, Prime called Them. Oh, I watched that. Mm-mm. No. Oh, I, no, that shit is I, I'm going to tell you when I stopped. I stopped 
on the episode where he went into the, the husband mm-hmm. went into the bathroom yeah and started getting a whole bunch of paper towels right and stuffed them in his mouth mm-hmm. and my mom was like what is he doing i said like, because he has to scream like i knew exactly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. exactly as soon yeah. as he started getting those paper towels yeah i knew exactly what he was going to do mm-hmm. and i was like this whole thing especially for someone who's worked in corporate america but so you know, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is you know such that, a trigger. You know the there was, a, was there was an entire a... supernatural element to it, right? I oh, well, you didn't I get did, to that part. I did, did you get know because it started something. Something started in the house. I saw that part. You have to watch it because it is oh. very, very Lovecraft country esque. I'm trying to tell you, it, it's you have to watch that it. That shit triggered me, and I couldn't go back. Yeah, and no, it's triggering. It's I was triggering like, I gotta go back and work with people. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I gotta go back and work with people. Look at you holding, so, hold, holding white grudge, grudges. You, he, he, he got some white hate inside of you, Kelly. <laughs> did you know I went? I went to a private school. I did not know that. I went to an all black private school. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. You want you and Doctor Umar? <laughs> oh my God, no! God. You and Doctor Umar? He wish Who'd he went in my school. Oh my God! Went to a school called Ivy Leaf. Mm, how'd that work out? It was wonderful. Was Still it? friends with a lot of people to this day, actually. So why didn't you go to HBCU? I wasn't accepted. Well, the one I was accepted to, I couldn't go because it was out of state. Where was it at? West Virginia. You went to Virginia? Oh, not oh, it's in West Virginia. Oh, West Virginia. Mm-hmm. West Virginia it? State. West Virginia State. I wanted, to go oh. I wanted to go there. I wanted to go to Wilberforce, but I didn't get accepted to Wilberforce. Mm-hmm. And that was the only two I really wanted to go to. Mm. All right, That's well how I ended up at Edinburgh. That's how we became family, though. Yay. Yeah. I'm about to say, I didn't even know your ass when you was up there. You was up hey, there. Hey, we still connected. I know. They only had like. I got up there in the 2000s. You was up there when they, you know, it first opened. So they had like two buildings and shit. Like, so it's different. But I, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? You was one of That's the. That's all right. We met one of the many at a New alum. Year's Eve party yep. at my home, mm-hmm. where we had a good time. And you was dating a cow- Dallas Cowboy or something like that. At no, time. wasn't you dating an ex Dallas no, no, Cowboy? At no, one point? no, no, oh, no. My fuck. friend. Your friend was dating an ex Dallas Cowboy. Yeah, McKee. Oh, he was an ex Dallas Cowboy, or you? no? He was currently he at oh, that moment. Shit. He wasn't there at that moment. He was a cowboy. That was he your was friend? Aaron, Aaron McKee's cousin. Oh, so he was your friend. She was my friend. Oh, and that was her boyfriend. Right. But you had a dude there too? No. I could have swore you did. I did not. Mm. No. Good night, Shannon. Welcome to the closed door. I so. was not going to say it, Shannon. <laughs> I was not going to say it. What, I, what did I just say? Twice. What did I just say? I was like, that's the night we met uh-huh. and, one, and things happened at my house. Yep. That's all I said. I was right not going to say door. that Boop. twice such and such happened, <laughs> and the door happened, and she ran into <laughs> and, and the husband instead of comforting her, her new friend Kelly comforted her because it was hilarious, <laughs> and he was on the floor, literally rolling and laughing his ass off. This was funny as shit. <laughs> if you've never seen anybody. <laughs> strut in the middle of a stride, run into a door <laughs> like from the patio. From the patio, I mean, it's the with shit a is sticker the, on the window the, uh, and leave a face print. That shit's the greatest shit ever, man. Oh Shout out so to all sorry, that, man. Shannon. No, when we were at Biggie's wedding, because I hadn't seen Shannon since then. Right, right. So I'm at the wedding. I'm like, she looks so familiar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so when we're in the receiving line, right. It hits it hits me who who she is. Yeah. And so I was like, hey, I was like, did you run into the window in my room? She's like, Kelly. Who is it? You want to tell nobody? I, you know, I, I just still, said it. To- <laughs> you know, I still got that face print on. <laughs> still got that face print on my goddamn door. I wasn't, oh, I wasn't man. there anymore. All right, so look. But anyway, let's get into a topic. Get into All a right. topic. <clears throat> I'm not even ready for these topics. All uh, right. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on Good. these topics. We want to talk. Okay. So we want to talk incentives because. <laughs> all right. So Ty saw something last week. I had, I've seen it three months ago. Okay. Okay. It was something. It was, 
as you know, I'm I'm a Joe Budden podcast listener. I'm part of his Patreon. So it was a is a uh, interview that he had with Tyrese that came out back in September. But now all you free moochers and freeloaders have now finally been able to watch it on YouTube because he just released it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And now it's become a buzz thing again, a buzz topic thing again. So people see it. It it just came out. didn't just come out. Shit been out for three months. I I digress. Anyway, I know that's just elitist. That was some elitist ass shit. That's a first world problem. Mm -hmm. I just hate when people, like I've, I've digested everything that was said in this interview and kind of moved on. And when people go back to it, it's like, ah, oh, bro, I seen it already. So I already right. know. And but that's just me knowing because I was I'm around for the people that was supposed to be for. So essentially, it was a lot of things said about marriages and about relationships mm-hmm. on air. And you know, Taya is Ty, I don't know much about either. Taya so. is the the seeker of information. I believe that Taya is going to build a relationship megazord in her basement one day and unleash it on the world. She has taken all the information that she can and she's going to come out firing and build like an atomic bomb. She's like she's like relationship Oppenheimer. I'm so I'm too immature. For oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm too immature for this shit. Uh-huh. Um, all right. Let's talk incentives. Uh-huh. Do people stay in relationships or marriages longer when the incentives are financial? This is one of those things that was happening with uh Tyrese's ex wife. He felt like So she, because mm-hmm. he had money. Yeah. And she could benefit from his money, right? She stayed in the marriage. I mean that that's that's what kind of that's the feeling that he got out of it, because he told she said that she wasn't with him before his money, and then on the first thing smoking she left, and then she wanted the money without him. So do you think that people stay for that reason? Come on, come on, come on, be honest. And the reason why you don't want to answer it is because it's women. It's not just. It's, well, no, it's because mm-hmm. I I really don't know. I have not been in a relationship in a very long time. Have I you ever been, been in? Been you ever been in a financially no. dependent relationship? Hell no. Never. No. Where y'all live together no. and y'all finances dependent on each other? No. Well, you ain't never been in a relationship. This is what I just said. No, you ain't never. I'm I'm saying it in general. You ain't never been in a fucking relationship. No. That's some crazy ass shit. Like me, even me and my son's father, we never lived together. Like I may have stayed a week over there. So how do you, wait a minute. If you ain't never lived with nobody, Mm -hmm. all the shit that you talk about relationships. How the fuck do you know you would even like this nigga after six months? Or if you the relationship type who after six months I've of dating? Been, I would have said I've dated anyone for six months. You said the longest relationship you had was a year. Yeah, and that was like college. <sighs> you are just I'm trying like, to tell yeah, you. You are a rookie to this game. I'm trying to you tell you. You are an But I've been saying this and no one seems to listen to me when I say. All right, so let me answer the question. That one, I've. Not so much never been in a successful relationship, Mm -hmm. but there comes a point in certain situations where this is not going anywhere. So why stay any longer than you need to stay if you know this is not, you know, this is not where you want to be for the rest of your life? Like I was just talking to a friend of mine on Sunday and he's supposedly through with this girl he was dealing with. Okay. But he was like, it's like. It's like the Godfather, you know. I keep trying to get out, but they keep pulling me back in. Oh, that means like, he's still fucking. Well, I'm like, well, do you want to be with her? I was like, for the rest of your life. He was like, well, the thing is, I don't want to introduce my kids to anyone new. Okay, that's very well fine and good. Okay. But do you want to suffer with her so you don't have to introduce your children to someone new? Maybe just want her to be better. Well, that's what he wants her to be, but she ain't going to be that. Ain't that some shit? Ain't she that some ain't shit? She ain't going to be that. All right. See, that's what bothers me the most is because in most relationships, in order for it to work, the man has to change. Women ain't got to change shit. 
That's the end of my statement. <laughs> that's the end of my statement. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, he would make it work if she was better. Right. That's fucking crazy. And she ain't getting ready to be better. And so if she's not going to be better, then... Then leave her the fuck alone. But here's the problem. The problem is that And then he got, was like, well, why am I on the phone with you? I was like, because we're friends. And he was like, yeah. I was like, but our friendship is completely different. I was like, this is going on almost 30 years. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 25, whatever. I was right. like, so we've had enough time to, you know, hash bullshit out. I was like, this is fresh. I was like, we had a couple of years where we didn't speak to each other. So okay. you might need that time away to let her be on her own, you be on your own, and then you could be friends after that. But you can't come, nine times out of 10, you can't come out of a relationship and stay friends that fast. You can't. I don't <sighs> see that happening. We, we we got kind of steered off of it. Whatnot. I'm sorry, yes. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, this is what I'm going to tell you. Yes, people do stay in relationships longer when the incentives are financial. Absolutely. I mean, given. Well, I oh, think. Oh, wait, why you ain't said that in the beginning? Because well, I, I can't really speak from experience. Mm. So let's say that. I can't speak from experience. But mm-hmm. if okay, it's Tyrese and his wife. All right. Before you answer that, what are the incentives of actually getting into a relationship? I don't know. I'm going back to the other question. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Tyrese and his wife. Okay, so yeah, nobody's gonna have the money Tyrese have right now. Just whoever he's dealing with, right? But if there's someone that comes in, let's say he married uh, Venus. Williams or Serena Williams. There's I don't no. Know, I don't fin- know why I feel like that's racist, but go ahead. I don't know why. I don't know why either. I don't know why I feel like this racist. That but you I'm put just Tyrese saying. And Serena Williams together. I, I don't know why. I just feel. Well, no, I, that's I, I, just, not racist. I don't know why. I Maybe just feel weird. Maybe her husband's white. I don't know. Oh wow. <laughs> that's Damn, that's ga- know. Wow, that's gangster. You <laughs> just you fucked me up with that one. But. <laughs> Races to put her with a black man after she been with a white man. I don't know. Oh, that's Either, crazy. I, yeah, maybe I'm that's just what going it is. on your yeah. shit. Oh, I'm no, just going on your up. shit. Go ahead, go ahead. But if he went into a relationship with someone who's equally financially stable as him, okay. then there's no financial benefit to the relationship. But if he meets someone, even if she's a doctor, you know, she may make good money, but she's not making Transformers money. You know what I mean? So, depending on the finances of both people, I'm thinking that's what makes it beneficial. It depends on both people. Well, you see what I'm saying? Like, no, he, no. He's rich and she's no, not. No, no. What she, you're doing but is. But she wants to be comfortable off of his money. Oh, my without God. Him. No, what you're doing is you're giving credence. You're giving a fucking I'm scapegoat. Not get- for gold ne- digging bitches. No, but I'm not. I'm not saying it's okay. Right. I'm just saying there's a difference in like into the answer of that question. Right. Like it. Read the question again. The question is: Is hold up, man. This it's is right bullshit. There on the paper. It's right there. On the I paper. know. I but I see it though. What are the? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Do people stay in relationships slash marriages longer when the incentives are financial? Right. So if he was with someone that was equally financially stable as him right then no but if he's some if he's with someone who if she leaves the relationship she might have an issue then yeah you giving and every, i'm not saying it's okay but you given every scenario in that situation it has nothing to do with this yes it's a simple yes or no question absolutely fucking lootly <laughs> if y'all both broken y'all need each other <laughs> y'all might stay a little longer till one of y'all get on y'all feet point blank period if if the chick ain't got shit, and this is where the, the rubber hits the road. Oh, if the Lord. chick ain't got shit and a nigga got shit, she definitely staying. She definitely staying. A nigga, on Possibly. the other hand, Possibly. he wouldn't even have the chick if he didn't have shit most of the time. Okay. All that, I take care of a nigga for, for the, that's that young buck shit right there. After that nigga, yup, after that nigga took your car <laughs> while you at work, one time too many. You can't get him the fuck out. Can you pay my bills? 
You know what I'm saying? Jody, Jody stories don't really fucking Jody baby boy stories don't really rock out too well unless there's some sort of level up. That's real shit. So absolutely, absolutely. What are the incentives in in getting into a relationship slash marriage? You haven't is there is there Can't an pass my paper, please. Is there an oh you wrote some shit down? Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Just to remember. Yeah, you wrote some bullshit down. Go ahead, let me see what you Freak wrote. Thank you. You wrote some bullshit down. I already Which know you question did. are we on? The second one, god damn it. You know what I wanted to uh what are the incentives for getting into a relationship slash marriage? Companionship. Balance. And decision making. I like they though first of all, those are my incentives. Anyway. No, 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 I didn't ask for your incentives. I know, I asked but I'm for just saying incentives. I don't know what the I've never been married. I've ne- oh never been gosh. engaged. So Yo, I can't say Stop using this shit as a cop out because you both it's of y'all do it all the time. Who? You you and well, Tyre. Well, we ain't never been married. See, that's what I'm saying. We ain't, I ain't never had to be, I just be I, you love. see this ring finger? See what I'm saying? It's never had a ring on it right, that it. I haven't put on it. Selling ass, selling ass, that's selling ass. Stop selling ass. I'm not selling yeah, ass. Yeah, you are. Stop. How am I selling? First of all. See this tr- ring finger? I ain't nobody claiming it me yet. Trust me, it's expensive. I ain't selling it. <laughs> trust me. What you be? That's the whole thing. That ring is expensive. Yeah, I mean, that's the. All imp- of this is expensive. It's all expensive. Selling ass. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. <laughs> Yo, so look. Oh, a ring, that's giving it away. But anyway. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that ain't giving it away. That nigga bought that motherfucking ring. He was selling that. He bought. He made the purchase. It just so happened a free ring came with shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Ain't nothing free so, about none of it. So look. I don't know. Like, I was trying to look it up at work, like oh to my see gosh. You gotta have, if listen, there was some. You have to have some sort of general recourse about exactly the way that you look at what relationships are. Okay, there, there, there has to be an incentive besides companionship, right? Mm-hmm. Can I, I'm gonna, can I, I'm gonna name you a few things, okay? Right. Companionship is one. Let's rock with that. Mm-hmm. A regular fuck person that you can go raw with. That's a great incentive. Somebody that you can. Tell your hopes, feelings, and dreams to. That you're hoping is not judgy. That's a great look. All right? Somebody that you could probably stand to watch a movie with and fucking and drink shit and, and hang out with on a regular basis. A good friend. It's a good look. Somebody that you might not be opposed to impregnating or getting pregnant by and having children with. That's an incentive. That look good, got good hair, whatnot, and that's I mean, smart. I All right, pro, you're, down, but right, I so had you're, that written to you. Right, so you're, you're procreating with mine. this person, right? You so hear then, my incentives, though. some yeah. per- person that you can try weird sexual shit with without without being judged. If nigga, if you like a finger in your butt, she might put the finger in your butt. Like your nipples rub, you know what I'm saying? She might be into that. <laughs> Yo, see, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, but you that's what, it up. Uh, I'm just, just saying, saying. I'm just saying. But that, that might be a thing that you into. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, somebody that's going to fucking have your back when you ain't got it for yourself. When you down and out, somebody to be able to pick you up. Those are incentives to being with somebody that fuck with you and know you. My friend. That's why you're lonely now. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, bitch is not lonely. <laughs> no, no, just no. Just because I'm alone. Don't mean I'm lonely. Um, no, you got that backwards. No, no. Just because you are not alone does not mean you're not lonely. That's what I said. No, you that's not I what said, you said. Just because I'm alone doesn't mean I'm lonely. And that's not what I said. I said just because you're not alone doesn't mean you're not lonely. Okay, but you still don't get way. it. You still don't get it. But I, I'm 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 gonna let you either marinate way, on it. I'm not lonely. Wait to the episode. You are lonely. No, I'm not. You are not I'm alone. alone. I am alone. Right. No, no. You're not alone. I'm so alone. It, look, come on, Michael. You're not alone. You are not alone. I am alone. <laughs> no, no one's here with me. You are not alone. I am. You lonely. I am alone. Okay. All right. Listen back to the not, episode. I do not have a boyfriend. Right. 
Which means I am alone. You're lonely. No, it doesn't mean I'm lonely. You cannot. You can be. You cannot be alone at the drop of a hat. When I say somebody, you can feel lonely in a crowded room. Right. A body does not make you not feel lonely. It makes you feel not alone. Right. But I'm also I'm not lonely. So you in love? No. Nigga, yes you are. You just that's what you saying. God. You're not in love? No. Fuck out of here. Okay. Fuck is wrong so with so you? so you're not alone. You're not alone. You're you alone right now. Right. But you're not lonely. Right. But you're not in love. Right. Why are you lonely? Why are you not lonely? Lo- Why are you not alone? Because I have things that occupy my time. I'm dumb. Women are so young. Just y'all because so, I'm alone does not mean I'm lonely. That's all right. right. And just because you're not alone does mean doesn't mean you're not lonely. But I'm not lonely. All right, nigga. All right, whatever you say. You can't try to put this loneliness on me. Okay. I'm not lonely. Okay, I got you. Okay. Mm, listen, I get it. <laughs> um, I get it too. What are the incentives? I know I'm not. What are the incentives for men? <laughs> In general, to get married. Oh no! What are they? I don't know. You tell. I I am not a man. What do you, as a woman, what do you think the incentives of getting married are for a man? I don't see any. (laughs) I don't see any. (laughs) Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding? Are you serious? Yeah. (laughs) Yo. (laughs) Like for real? Okay. I can't make this shit up. Y'all having someone that you can. Uh-huh. Have sex with repeatedly unprotected. <laughs> However, you get these that. niggas is going out here. <laughs> you got to have a that. You ain't got to get married for that shit. Right. Hey, right. So what are you talking about? So what does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? I I'm, I asked you the question. Don't re, Don't answer the question with a question. You're deflecting ass. Put, put your mic back. Shut up. <laughs> Fucking Captain America shield ass and whatnot. It is not like like what is, what is, what are you talking about, Miss? I'm not lonely. I'm alone, or I'm not alone or lonely. I don't know I'm what. The, just because I'm you speaking in riddles the entire it's podcast. It's not a riddle. It, riddle, you don't not have riddle. To, I don't know what a riddle is. Have to be alone. You don't have to be lonely to be alone. Like I you never said, said that. Right, but I'm not lonely. You keep calling me lonely. Okay. Though. But anyway. All right, whatever. I take offense. I'm just I saying. know. You offended by that. I'm very that means you lonely. I'm not. <laughs> you, only lo- you only take offense to somebody calling you lonely. Because that's like saying <laughs> that's like saying you the cat lady or some shit like that. You got a cat, right? <laughs> and that's my home. Yeah. What's the cat name? Apollo. Apollo? Oh, Apollo. yeah. Apollo, what? A pop, a p, oh, like Apollo. A pop, like Apollo. Just uh. I think you were supposed to name Apollonia. That's the that's the uh, name mm, for the female well, version. Well, when the cat came into the home, mm-hmm. the boy didn't know it was a girl. Right. So he was calling it Apollo. Right, right. And then when I got home and saw the cat, and you I'm like, said, "I'm gonna call her Apollo." That's definitely a girl. So he just changed the O to an A. So I shall call you Apollo. Hey, she answers. Apollo. I like Paula. She like me. Uh, I seen somebody. Homie. You know the ring. The ring cameras be fucking me up. Cause yeah. so we got a ring camera, right? You, you you on that ring forum where motherfuckers be talking? No. Dog. Somebody had uh, lost a cat. His name was uh, 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 Fufu Pop Pop. Fufu slash Pop Pop. Can you please help us find Fufu Pop Pop? I'm like, yo, if y'all don't get the fuck off my phone with this dumb shit. Like, honestly, like, they will, like, these people, matter of fact, let me read you some of these. I, I don't oh, even, I, we'll, we'll get back to regularly scheduled programming in the fucking second. Because I want to, I want to oh. understand, I don't, I really want people to understand what type of fuckery goes along with being in a ring, a ring text thread and whatnot. Oh, you Lord. can't. Nothing can happen around you without motherfuckers snapping. Did you guys, did anybody hear that sound 10 minutes ago? Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, get your, get your, Rose, get your ass. Was it, was it Rose or Mary? Which one of you? Two, 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 seven ass off the goddamn oh. stoop. Like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to figure this out, though. Um, lost dog, <laughs> leered, 
Leonard and Tremont, right? Oh, my goodness. Somebody, a neighbor wrote, please help him. I'm like, yo, I can't deal with this shit no more, man. Can y'all please, 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 please stop sending these fuckery of notifications to my phone oh my about um, package thief. <laughs> man parked on the side of the street, walked up wearing mask, red hood, Adidas in a jacket. He stole my neighbor's package. Oh, no. <laughs> Illegal dumping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Broken car windows. Two cars drove up, jumped out. At least three men broke three car windows, rummaged through, and jumped back in their car. Oh, I fucking hate it here, bro. <laughs> I mean, it goes to show you our city is, is, is on some shit. But that's your people. Y'all can't even snitch right. Shit is the worst. Um, all right. Oh so God. back to what we was talking about. I apologize. I had to. I just had to. Because I really wanted to tell people about it because I'm sick and tired of that shit. Um <laughs> I really, I really am, man. Like honestly, every other minute. So we just have no incentives on getting married at all. Why? Why do you there you go? Why do we feel that way? Why do you feel that way? Because I feel like what should be an incentive for them. They don't give a fuck about. Oh my god, nigga, are you kidding me? You just did. You just. I mean, y'all going to do what y'all want to do anyway. Wow. So you flip that back on us. What? Us? What was your incentive to get married to my oh, beautiful sister Shannon? Wow. Why don't you hold on? Because you're not gonna put me on the spot on my own show. Well, that was the next question anyway. No, it's not the next motherfucking question. Mm-hmm. What are the incentives for women to get married? That's the next question. Um, I'll, I'll say this for men and women. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll give this for men and women. Mm-hmm. Um, a chance at financial stability Yo. where they both combine things, but... You know, you might have your own safety deposit box. She might have one too. So who knows about that? I fucking hate you. Um, <laughs> I hate you so much. You are an asshole, and I want to let you know, you full of shit. I just want to let you know that. You know what I'm saying? Your eyes are turning brown. You full of shit. Yeah, my eyes are brown. <laughs> no, the white part. <laughs> <laughs> the white part. But drinking that honey. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't drink the brown. Um, I mean, there, there's financial stability, there's companionship, there's friendship, there's support, um, someone to build a family with, you know, those things. Those are my incentives anyway. So but those are some of the incentives for, I guess. So I'm going to be a thought. Okay. So you asked me what were my incentives you know, on getting married. You know, I'm 85%. So yeah, yeah. No, nah, but, but you want to tell me what was your incentive being a minute. So I'm going to break that shit down. I'm going to ask you. Reset my incentive. Okay. All right. <laughs> we ain't going to be here too much longer, y'all. This Kelly is full of shit today. So I just want to <laughs> let y'all. I'm, I'm going to let y'all know just marinate and enjoy this podcast as is or whatnot. I came on kind of fly today. I appreciate y'all for watching and checking us you out. like you work at Target. <laughs> like you work in a back room at Target. Fuck. <laughs> the executive officer in the back. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Um, Red and tan. I'm just saying. You a hater. You a hater. That's just some hating ass shit. Bird gang. Um, got Nike and New Balance on. Like, I don't give a shit. It match. It do. Look, look at the red. Look at the red in my shits. Look at the red in my shits. The red. See the, the red, red on the inside. The red, red New Balance. And the red and the white. The red New Balances. And the Nike shirt. You're a hater. <laughs> and here's the funny thing. Can't nobody see that shit on camera. <laughs> now. Now your ass is They're going to be looking. <laughs> They're going to be looking there when they go look up and like, this nigga got written. It. Give a fuck. Yeah, you got damn right. I'm a grown ass man. I don't give a fuck about what y'all talking about. I'm still fly. <sighs> and I'm back in the gym. Uh, Where's I get right? Wiggling these pecs all over the streets. Um... No, I didn't say nothing about my nipples. I you said, said my pecs. pecs. That's the problem and whatnot. <laughs> pecs, pectorials. No, bro, pectoral muscles. I didn't say nothing about nipples. Oh, they're on the pectorals. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Anyway, so my incentives for getting married and whatnot. I got married when I was 23 years old. Jesus. 
Damn. You want to judge me or you want to... Wait a minute, look. Damn. <laughs> It married when I was 23 years old mm-hmm. or whatnot, and the incentives are but define worth the time. That, define that love. No, I no. guess love. Don't answer my questions for me. No, I'm not answering the right. question. Right. I was just saying to find that love that early. Yeah, is, it's, a, it's, it's a, wonderful. It's a great experience or whatnot. Mm-hmm. It's a great experience. I don't know what at that the is. time. At the, yeah, we. Yo, stop selling ass on the podcast. Oh, we get it, no. yo. <laughs> We are. I don't know what it feels like. Come on. Anyway, we we were in love. We wanted our, we were having a family. We, we had a son already. So wanted our children to have the same last name. Well, we already kind of discussed that. But we wanted all of us to have the same last name. Mm-hmm. That was the, the one of the big things about it or whatever. This is just is like, you know, all the superficial shit that goes along with that. Right. But um, it was to a point where it was like, all right, we play a house. And I had dreams to do things outside of where we were. And my objective was to always go back to try to pursue what I was looking for. And I didn't want to do it without her. Aww. So that's that's really what it was about. And she was your one. Yeah, so, you're so gay. So, uh, yeah, so, so we did that, and we decided that that's what we wanted to do. And she ended up coming back and with me, and we had another baby, and the rest is history. So we were able to kind of plus, Happy you know what I mean? And also, Mary. tax purposes, fucking medical insurance, um, life insurance, things, things that matter when you're looking to spend a lifetime with somebody. It just matters. You know what I'm saying? Think credit, shit like that, cars, houses, life. Just life that you live together. It is more is an incentive unless you you know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, so I was Yeah, you I was on the phone with a friend of mine's on Saturday mm-hmm. discussing my car issue, trying mm-hmm. to get that rectified. Right. And I was telling them, you know, I was thinking about selling the house again and, you mm-hmm. know, whatever. And he's like, why? And I was like, because I'm just tired of being responsible. You're lonely. For everything. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I apologize. I apologize. Go ahead. I said I was tired of being responsible Mm -hmm. for everything, for every decision, for every payment, for everything. Mm -hmm. And he was like, it sounds like you need a husband. (laughs) That's what it sounds like. like, That's what it sounds like. Yep. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. I don't know how to get one of them, so, you know. Hmm. Until I figure that out. It's the loneliest statement I've ever heard. But you, you're not, though. But I'm not. See, that's what I'm saying. People are going to learn. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to learn you something. Once I learn you something, it can't be unlearned. Mm-hmm. Got it. So, Kelly, last but not least, the last question of this entire podcast. Episode 168 is coming to a close mm-hmm. after this. What would be your incentive for getting married? <sighs> My incentives to get this nigga married. wrote it down. I can't because <laughs> Yo. I was going. With, oh, we didn't talk about what's the name. In talk jail. about what? Derek Chauvin got stabbed in jail. The only thing I'm going to say about that is what I said in the text group. Reap period. So, so period. period. Yep. And that's all we got to say. He seriously injured too. Happy trails. It is what it is. That's a long drop to hell. What you put out there, you <laughs> definitely uh, get Sorry, back. brother. Mm. Yeah, I'm not. not really. No, yeah, I'm really. not. Sorry, mm. but not sorry. Fuck you. You calling for your mama? Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, is exactly. You calling for your mama? Yeah, I hope so. Oh, okay. Somebody need to help me. So, what I wrote down, just a couple, mm-hmm. were balanced in decision making, companionship. And someone to enjoy life with. Someone to encourage me, push me a little bit when... What if he was terrible at sex? What if that shit was just bad? Little Peter Weeder, couldn't get where you needed to go. Oh, my God. What if he had every other intangible that you needed? He just couldn't... He couldn't do it. He just wasn't, you know what I mean? Wasn't there for him. I don't know. How would you feel? 
Would you get <sighs> like like here's the thing? Would you build all this with him without never having sex? And if you had to, if you had to, and you got there, and then when y'all had it, it wasn't what you thought. Could you get past it? It's a whole lot of long pregnant pauses. Can we can we speed the process up? I just had this conversation. <laughs> really? Because a uh, a guy friend of mine mm-hmm. has a a uh, friend girl that uh-huh. he's been intimate with. Right. And he's like everything about her is right. Right. He's like, but the sex is horrible. And he's like, and I can't be with her. And I'm like, wow. what about what about the sex? But is horrible? I think he's like, she just. It's just bad. She's just not sensual. She ain't got no arch. No, right. She ain't, she don't she don't no got spit. no oomph. She ain't uh, got no oomph to it. Right. Is she orgasming? She is. He's not. I don't think women understand. Like, when, when niggas is bad, they actually think that they're good. When women are bad at sex, they have no that fucking idea. idea. Nope. They have no fucking clue. Because, you know what I'm saying? A man can fuck you. So it don't really matter, you know what I'm saying, yeah, about see, exactly like I, what it is. Like I, niggas I think I think men right. who may be bad at sex or men who may not have a lot to offer mm-hmm. can be either trained mm. to, you know, at least know what I like. Right, right. As your wife. Right. Um, I I not personally, but you know, there are men in the world yeah. that I know of. Right. That may not have a whole bunch, but they know what they're doing with it. Okay. You know? Right. So as long as you go through with your mind, like you know how to work what you have, mm-hmm. use what you got to get what you want. Right. You know, but women, it's a whole different situation. You really have to tell us that I don't enjoy that. I don't like that. Let's try this. You know. Yeah, like the ball play. I keep telling you motherfuckers. (laughs) Well, and that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Because for you, it may not do anything. And for him, it may do everything. What we have to remember is everybody. What, what, everybody ain't the same, and what yeah. works well for A mm-hmm. does not work well for Z. I ain't gonna hold you. So, and work back. I'm just saying. Freshman year of college. Oh Jesus! It was girl. Now, mind you, high school was cool. Like I was already like you know had bodies. I was like okay, cool. Kind of know where I'm at with this. And I already had You know what I'm saying? Like what like you just said. That what? I already had bodies is what you just said. What is it? Had bodies? What the fuck? What? In high school? What? What's wrong? What's okay. the problem? So Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I you know, you know, the box trot was my expertise. You know what I'm saying? Like I was I was, you know what I mean, full fledged like <laughs> Try to make that a word. Blah, 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 blah. That was named. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Move on, please. <laughs> so, so that was the name of the game and whatnot. But I was, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it was a part of that. Plus, you know what I'm saying? The good old, you know what I mean? Cruise control and everything that was going on. So you get a little reputation. This nigga nasty. Da, 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 da. So it lent itself to this. I'm Mr. Nasty that. Man. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I ain't no, I was you no, know, tr- no. Trust me, I wasn't. I wasn't that nigga. <laughs> you, you know that nigga. You know, you know, you know that nigga. I was. I do. <laughs> I do. I, I wasn't that nigga. I do. You know, what I mean, I was coming up in the ranks. I might have been the intercontinental champion. This nigga was the <laughs> universal heavyweight champion of the world. Uh-uh. He was in the mix. But anyway, he was the district champion. That nigga was. Yeah, I was district <laughs> champion. This nigga was the champion of the city. He was, he, yeah, I mean, exactly. So, but I was, you know what I mean? And, dog, I was, hadn't even, 
no, no, no penny yet, no pen a penetration. You know, I'm, I start to make up words, pen a. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like short for penetration, pen a. So no pen a yet, but I'm down there going, going. To, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to, I'm going to Lyon Town. You know what I'm saying? I'm going crazy. So, so I'm down there going to work, and it was a girl. She looked up at me. She was like, "Yo, what are you doing? That's not my shit." I had to. T- I'm like, "What do you mean? That's not your shit. That's everybody's shit. What do you mean? That's not my shit. Can you? Can we get the business?" Ow, yes, girl. I was like, "Oh shit!" Yes, it was a little intimidating because she knew what she wanted. She knew what she wanted. Yeah. And your tongue was not it. Yeah, but that shit, that was, it was different because I didn't. Did I never, you know what you were, not for her. Right. But the first time you ever. Yeah. Did you know what you were doing? What? Yeah. Look, I told you I was Captain Loud. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was working, but. I had somebody, he, he didn't know. But he I, I knew what I was doing all based off of experience of what I thought I knew. Yeah, I mean, I had been around <laughs> the block. Plenty of time. You spun the block. Oh, I had been around the block plenty of time, and it just so happened that this was the first encounter with her man in the boat. Oh. And everybody's man in the boat ain't, ain't man the in, ain't man in the boat. Everybody ain't row row rowing. My, my man in the boat had like a fucking poncho on it too. So it, sometimes that's the thing. Like if your man in the boat got is extra ponchoy, maybe I wasn't like peeling it back enough. I don't fucking know. I thought that I was in the wait mix. A minute, wait a <laughs> minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> had a fucking wait a minute. Had a fucking slicker. He got a slicker on <laughs> your fucking. Actually, cover my. Ears. He had a slicker on your man on the boat and whatnot. My got virgin that ears can't take fucking this. Fucking Clint look like I know still know what you did last summer. <laughs> Your ears can't take this guy. Yeah, I'm saying you're like, what the fuck is that thing? Oh my god. Anyway, oh, but I yeah, so the man in the yellow slicker. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. So I thought it was, yeah, you know I mean, and it just wasn't. And here's the problem. And that's when I had to learn how to hone my skills. This one appreciated penetration and the flicking of the man in the boat at the same time. So, I had to learn how to multitask. That might have been one of the first times that I ever, in my sexual lifetime, had to multitask. So, like, like, and here's the thing. You get better with multitasking as you get older. Because back then, it wasn't it. I wasn't, I wasn't the best at it because it was like the concentration was off. Yeah, the, rhythm, the, the, rhythm, the rhythm was like, oh, shit. And then when one, I realized. Two, yeah, three, yeah, like four, I give you. Because the hand. You know what I'm saying? Because you try to like, like now it's just like you you understand. Because but before it was like, uh, all I'm right. Trying to boom, boom, boom. And then you stop. And she's like, don't stop. Do both. I'm like, oh, shit. I can't do both. You know what I'm saying? Because. My concentration off. I'm not ambidextrous. You know what I'm saying? My coordination sucks. You know what I'm saying? I'm only 18. I don't know. I've never, I've done a lot, but I haven't done enough. And it's one of them things. Like, you don't really fucking know. But then the moment that you get to it and whatnot. like after, The moment you get it right. Oh, yeah. A couple times later, oh, it was a vibe. It was a vibe. It was like, <laughs> it's like playing bass. All I have to say is cheers. Cheers to the men that are over 40. See, look, 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 look at all that. This nipple action. This is, listen. This You're nigga. playing the guitar in the bongo. <laughs> what? That's the name of the game. Oh, my goodness. Look, you, you, you gangster with it and whatnot after a while. You're the boom, boom, boom. You can do all that shit and whatnot. You can contort your, contort your fucking hands and whatnot. You my got the thumb in the butt. My virgin eyes can't take this. My virgin eyes can't take this. Oh, I love this podcast. I apologize, y'all. I'm such a good girl. I, I fucking apologize I to all of y'all. Get all of that. Oh, gosh. but cheers to the men that are over forty. Yeah, man. Um. Yeah, yeah. Look. Yeah, niggas. Nah, niggas over forty know what they doing. Niggas over 40 definitely know what they're doing. Whew. Seen enough vaginas and seen enough angles and, and you don't got to strike. Because if you if you missing a hole when you're over 40, then you done, you done fucked up somewhere along the line. But most men Just over 40 Just know that you're getting applause from me. Most men over 40. All right, damn it, shit. 
trying to relive a situation? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I, I understood. Oh, man. But now it's time to Hold say on. goodbye. Oh, shit. What? Yeah, all right. Now it's time to say goodbye. To oh, all I my Negro friends. Oh, man. Let me ask you a question. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought we was almost done. Here yeah, we go. We almost done. Here we go with the bull duty. Mm-hmm. Let's do this real quick. Get with us on, <laughs> get with us on IG at Mr. Underscore Know It All Underscore Pod. The Facebook fan page, Mr. Know It All Podcast fan page. Mr. Know It All Podcast on TikTok. And please, as always, TikTok, send all you of your fuckery, stop. duckery, and schmuckery over to the Gmail account at Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. That's Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. That's too close. Don't do that. <laughs> that's too that's wild. It's way too close to what you what you was thinking. That's why you. I love it. So. Oh Lord, I'm so scared. No, nah, no, nah, it's nothing too crazy or whatnot. So I was just talking about the guitar playing and whatnot. Is there anything in the midst of having the grandest time of all that has ever been done that you would have been like, yo, hold up, nigga, you went too far. You went too far. Um, Mm-mm. never too far. Not saying it's it's never too far. It just hasn't been too far yet. Nothing where you was like, I would have preferred you not do that. The, the one thing you know, something was tried, it didn't work. Mm-hmm. You keep going. I grabbed the chick foot one time. She ain't like that too much. Why'd you grab her foot? I don't know. I, was I, you I trying to put it on her sh- your shoulder? No, no. It, it was different. It was like. You were trying to. I, yeah, I reached down like to the side. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I tried like grab the foot. I, I, I was going crazy. I, I, hands was everywhere. So oh, okay. it was like the foot. You felt, you felt. I just felt like maybe the foot wanted to get involved. So I just touched the foot. Oh, okay, you don't and it kind of fucked. It kind of fucked the whole thing up. The whole vibe. Was yeah, she said, like, "No, no, 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 no! Don't touch my feet." <laughs> <laughs> I had to snore on there. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what I. No, 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 no! Don't touch my. It ain't not like huh, no. huh, you, uh, huh, uh, no, 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 no! Don't touch no. my feet. Like, oh my you, gosh! You should think you fucked that whole vibe up. Yeah, I fucked the vibe up. Yeah, keep, I went right back to it, but keep I keep your hands in the, inside the, 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 the vehicle ride. at all times. <laughs> But okay, when I, you are on the roller coaster, right? Keep your hands inside on the bar in the ride. <laughs> Don't put your hands anywhere else oh, outside man. the ride. Just don't do that. You're touching feet. What the fuck are you touching feet for? I thought hell, it was the hell. I'm that's pissed. not extra. I'm pissed really. for her. Listen, I'm listen. pissed for her. I just thought that it might be a thing. I For you, might, not her. Because she like like behind the leg and all that. I just thought it was a thing. I thought I would grab the foot. You're behind the leg. But I thought it was the, like no. grab the foot. Right. No. No. Kelly Q has spoken. No. <laughs> she has spoken. Mm-mm. On behalf of Kelly Q, the Qster, Q Diamond Phillips. <laughs> okay. I love Q Diamond Phillips. I am, the ep- Qster show. I am Mr. Know-It-All, and this That's is episode 168 of the Mr. Know-It-All podcast. And it'll be on behalf of our sponsors, Mood and Sensors. Thank you kindly. And on behalf of the high. Oh, I match. We holler at y'all later, man. <laughs> See y'all next week. Episode 169. Oh, that's got to be the nasty episode. We get, we get, we going, we get nasty next week. Candles lit. Ooh, you think YouTube would ban me if we get somebody in here scantily clad? Yes. Yes. What I if we just don't monetize? We should have a shea butter rub down. We gonna do I that. I still have a job that I have to go to, so no. They don't like your ass anyway. They don't. <laughs> Holla at y'all next week. Bye. Peace. <laughs>